Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Sir's classes. And today we are looking at the GATE 2024 economics paper, question number 64, 62. In a perfectly competitive market, suppose the market demand curve is given by P equals to 10 plus W minus Q, where P is the market price, W is the average wealth of the consumers in the market, Q is the industry output. The total cost function for a representative firm is given by Q cube minus 2Q square plus 5Q, where Q is the output of the firm. If capital W is 80, then the total number of firms in the industry in the long run is how much? So the cost function of any representative firm is Q cube minus 2Q square plus 5Q. And the market demand function is P is equals to 10 plus W minus Q. So W is 80. So that is 90 minus total Q. Now in the long run, what is the characteristic? That in the long run, the price in the competitive market is equals to the minimum average cost. So let us find out the minimum average cost first. So the average cost is Q square minus 2Q plus 5. So for minimization, what will we do? Differentiate this with respect to Q and set it equals to 0. So that is 2Q minus 2 is equals to 0. So Q is equals to 1. So if you replace that in the average cost expression, you get the minimum average cost to be 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 5. So that is 1 minus 2 plus 5, which is 4. So that means in the long run, the price would be equals to 4 in the market. Okay, and each firm will be producing one unit of output. So now if we look at the market demand curve, P is equals to 90 minus capital Q, right? So the total Q would be N times small Q in the long run. Q is 1 in the long run, so this is n, P is 4. So 4 is equals to 90 minus n, that means n is equals to 86. So 86 firms will be there in this market in the long run. So that means your answer to this is 86. Thank you.